The Fed submitted over $1.495 trillion in reverse repo operations today. Dark pool trades for AMC accounted for 57% of the total volume today, while dark pool trades for GameStop accounted for 45% of the total volume today. AMC had a larger amount of buy orders than its sell orders, with GameStop also having a larger amount of buy orders than sell orders. Now, let's talk about performance. AMC traded bearishly, losing over 3%. The stock began trading relatively neutral during the pre-market. It was trading on the VWAP pretty much the entire early morning. Upon market opening, AMC went started dipping, breaking support levels at 25.80, then at 25.20 and ultimately breaking below 24.80 to reach a low of 24.64. It was a pretty nasty fall, but after reaching 24.64, AMC began bouncing back, eventually reaching the VWAP again and breaking over it. AMC closed at 25.49, above the VWAP. As for what to expect for tomorrow, AMC will find support at 24.60, 24 and 22.50. Resistance will be met at 26.62, 28.43 and 30. Some have been asking for a broader analysts on AMC, so let's review the 180-day chart. As you can see, after the monster run that AMC experienced back in June of last year, the stock has been in a falling wedge pattern ever since. Right now, we seem to be headed towards testing the lower band of the falling wedge. The fact that the wedge has lasted for such a long time indicates to me that the breakout will be monumental. I highly doubt AMC will break below 10. I find it very probably that AMC starts generating a lot of revenue, perhaps lowering their interest on their debt and bringing in more and more people to its services and theaters. This will drive the stock to break above the 32 big resistance. A break above this would potentially lead AMC to a run of a minimum of 60 again. The thing that people need to realize is that because we are in a falling wedge, the longer we are in it, the stronger the breakout will be. Let's assume the impossible happens and we fall below $10, which is something many have been fearing. AMC's popularity is immense, having over 4 million investors. Assuming that only 1 million of these people are long-term investors interested in continuing to buy shares, and assuming investors buy $250 worth of shares per month, it would mean that AMC would see about 25 million of its shares bought and not be sold. The number of investors is much higher, and based on what I see, the number of investment on AMC is much higher than $250. This would imply that 25 million shares bought at $10 or below is an unrealistic number because it is too small. AMC is set to have incredibly bullish earnings reports this year due to the high amount of hyped movies coming out, so I strongly expect AMC to enjoy a lot of institutional investors hoping in long positions as well. Falling wedges for stocks such as AMC always break the resistance, and the longer this pattern exists, the bigger the breakout. A run past 35 in my opinion is a sure thing, it's a matter of time. Current market conditions have been used to add further manipulative tactics that have brought AMC down, but this is only momentary. If you look at the chart, you will see that prior to November, when the market started experiencing weakness, AMC was in an ascending triangle ready for another breakout which should have taken it about $15 higher than that $35 it was at. Again, we only broke bullish pattern because shorters have accentuated weaknesses for this stock using general market sentiment. The retracement for this is going to be really bullish, so don't sleep on AMC. GameStop traded bearishly, losing over 2% for the day. It began the day with a dip that took it from 153 to 143. At this level, GameStop consolidated for a while before running upwards, testing and breaking the VWAP resistance and reaching 150.32. GameStop closed at 148.91, above the VWAP. As for what to expect for tomorrow, GME will find support at 146, 143 and 140. Resistance will be met at 150, 154 and 157. Running the same exercise as we did for AMC, you will see that GameStop was in an upwards momentum, but given the relative market weakness we started experiencing on November brought the stock down, breaking the bullish pattern it was in. What is most impressive about GME is that though it fell down to 127.56, it has still managed to hold support relatively close to the pattern it was in. I think as the market becomes bullish once again, we will fall back in the pattern and breaking above that 200 mark once again. I am super bullish about GameStop, but don't be surprised if we fall below 140 again for the time being.
GameStop has some serious major announcements to make, and with no debt and better performance to be anticipated, this company's market cap valuation is set to nearly double. If the OpenSea platform is worth around $10 billion, GameStop's is about to at least grow $5 billion in valuation by the end of the year, given that they announce the NFT marketplace relatively soon and it becomes operational and open for everyone. GameStop is in my opinion the strongest meme stock and the one that will reach the highest, and as of right now, I could not ask for anything more. I am sitting back awaiting this company to make big announcements and then show their balance sheets. With a billion dollars also sitting cash, they have plenty of money to remain operational at a loss for years in the worst case event. GameStop is an open and shut case, because it doesn't even need MOAS to go to the moon. This is a massively undervalued company that in a decade could be well over $100 billion in valuation, and this is a very conservative estimate. Thank you all for watching my video today. Like I said, I will link this morning video down in a pinned comment for you all. If you want to support this channel, I have a Patreon link in the description as well as some one-time donation links for Cash App and PayPal. Thank you again for being a part of this channel. I will continue striving for better content. Enjoy the rest of your day. Keep on buying the dip into the moon.